Hey guys, this is the Dawn with Overlanding Anglers and welcome back to the channel. Today is a very exciting day because we are going to be doing a new install here on the war machine. Now, what are we going to install? Well, this brand new snorkel from Davidson 4x4. Now, before we get to unboxing this and starting with the install, I want to take a second to show you what a snorkel is and why you might want one. So let's check that out. Now, the simplest and easiest way that we can explain what a snorkel does is it simply moves your air intake, usually to somewhere about here. Now, on our stock 2018 Toyota 4Runner, our air intake is right here in the passenger side fender well, and that can cause problems if you do any kind of deep water crossing or you're traveling down a dusty and dirty road, mainly because you're gonna ingest a lot of dust and dirt up into your air box. Now that is not the worst thing in the world because your air filter takes care of that, but when was the last time that you changed your air filter? It was a while for us, but to test this, what we're gonna do is we are gonna go and put a brand new air filter in our Forerunner and run some dusty and dirty Oklahoma roads. Then we're gonna install the snorkel, put in a brand new air filter and go run the same dusty and dirty roads to see the difference that this snorkel can make. So let's get started. Well, we made it out to the Sugar Creek Loop, the trusty trail that we love to go and run. And it's not as dry as we hoped, but just to show there's no tomfoolery, we're gonna go ahead and put our brand new air filter in right now. This portion of the Sugar Creek Loop is mostly red Oklahoma dirt and sand. That should show up pretty well against these white air filters. It looks like our last air filter brought back some of the Mark Twain forest with it. No time to tell you about that now. Let's run the trail. The kids and I spent just over an hour running these trails, but now it's time to start the fun part and head to our shop, Custom Off-Road Equipment in Oklahoma City. Let's get that box open and see what's inside. In the kit, you get a snorkel, connection boot that connects your snorkel to the air box, mounting hardware, ram air intake, but most importantly, the template to show you where to cut. Before we get that out, it's time for disassembly. You will need to remove the fender liner and fender trim from the passenger side. Then remove the entire air box from under the hood. Pro tip, make sure you have extra trim connection pieces because they don't all like to come out in one piece. Now is a good time to inspect and clean out your air box. As you can see, ours needed it and I think we needed this snorkel more than I thought. But for now, let's attach the template. Getting this template in the right place is crucial. So take your time and don't rush. Now comes the part I am not excited about at all because I can't bring myself to chop up my own car, so Josh is gonna do it. What? Yeah. Now, as Josh cuts, we wanna share a pro tip. Use painter's tape and a marker to duplicate the template on your fender. If you only use the cardboard template and it moves or becomes damaged, it can make things a lot more difficult than it needs to be. The painter's tape will also protect and minimize paint damage as you cut. Now, let's get back to the carnage. Now, with the cutting done, be sure to deburr the new holes you've created. This will prevent damage to your new snorkel. Now, grab that bottle of touch-up paint that's been living in the back of your glove box since you bought your rig and apply it to the newly exposed metal. This will prevent rusting. When you're done, it should look something like this. With the paint dry, it's time to attach the upper snorkel bracket. With the Dobinson kit, that means riveting the bracket into place and applying a little bit of silicone to prevent leaks. Then, loosely place your airbox back into the engine bay and connect the elbow from the airbox to the snorkel. Make sure to tighten your hose clamps right before you bolt your snorkel into place. Mm -hmm. 
We're on the home stretch, and now it's time to put everything back together. With everything back together, there's only one thing left to do for this install, and that is to put the cherry on top and install the snorkel head. Now, Davidson sends this Ram Air snorkel head with their kit, and it does a great job at bringing cleaner air to your engine, but because we live in the dusty environment that is Oklahoma, we decided to go with this one. This is the 9001 series pre-cleaner from Cyclone International, and this thing is really cool. They use some really clever engineering to make the ultimate addition for your snorkel. Now, check out this video from Cyclone International on how this thing actually works. Debris is immediately separated into bands by the angled louvers, as seen here in this clear demonstration unit, directing it into the sidewall of the dome. Angled fins along the sidewalls, known as strakes, channel debris directly toward the ejection slot. Only clean air rises to the top of the precleaner, where the dome shape directs it down into the engine's intake pipe. Now, this thing also does all of this without a filter, which means it's really no maintenance. For more information, visit Cyclone's website here. All right, now that the install's done, let's get out and go test this in the real world. What do you think, bud? You ready? With a new air filter in place, we spent about two hours on the Sugar Creek Loop and drove 2,000 miles in our daily routine. But now, I think it's time to check our results and compare our before and after air filters. Now just to show you there's no tricks, we're going to take out this air filter and replace it with an oiled air filter from k and <laughs> Well, I've dragged this on long enough, so let's take a look at the filters and see the results. All right, guys, so this is gonna be the filter that we put in before the install of the snorkel, and this is gonna be the filter that we put in after the install. If you guys can see, the back of both filters looks pretty good, and this makes a lot of sense because this is where air comes out and goes on the way to the intake manifold. Now, when we flip them over, you can see a little bit of a difference. Our stock intake filter has visible specks of Oklahoma dirt along with the reddish tinge. Meanwhile, our filter with the snorkel looks like it just came out of the box. So, as you guys can see, the Dominson snorkel along with the Cyclone pre-cleaner work as advertised, and I am really happy with this. I think this was a good buy, but it's going to pose two very important questions. The first question is, how much can you expect to pay for this setup? Well, let me get my notes. First, the Dobinson snorkel itself, you can expect to pay anywhere from $365 to $395 plus tax and shipping, depending on where you order it from. The Cyclone Pre-Cleaner we ordered from snorkelupgrade.com and it comes with everything you need to mount it up specifically to the Dobinson snorkel. That set us back another $229. Now, if you don't want to tackle the install and you take it to a reputable shop to have it installed, you can expect to pay anywhere from four to $500 to get that installed. And two, do you need one for your build? Well, that decision is going to be up to you. But if you plan on exploring and overlanding in any kind of dry and dusty conditions, or you know there's going to be some deep water crossings in your future, then yes, this is a mod that we would recommend for you. It can be very cost efficient, especially when you compare it to the long-term benefits and consider doing the install yourself. So what do you guys think? Are you gonna look at a snorkel for your build? Huge shout out to our friends at Dobinson's, snorkelupgrade.com, and our sponsor, Custom Off-Road Equipment. Until next time, guys, get out there, keep exploring. Bye. <laughs>